Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Welcome back once again. Well, today we're going to be discussing RAID, the benefits and the risk, what RAID can do for you and what RAID can do to you as the user. Most commonly, as a desktop jockey, most people are going to use RAID 0 striped or RAID 0 1 mirrored RAID arrays. Now, there are some benefits and some risks to running these things. Basically, RAID 0 striped is when you take two drives that are identical and you run them together to be one big drive, which means the buffer space between the drives is very large, which means increasing the time that you can transfer your files and the time you can access your files. This is very good. Only drawback. Anything on your RAID 0 gets broken, you're completely out of your data. So RAID 0 is the fastest, a lot of gamers prefer this, but there are high risks to running RAID 0 because if you lose your data, your data is gone. Now, RAID 1 is mirroring. What RAID 1 does is it takes two identical drives and it takes one drive and copies it onto the other drive. Now, if you run a business or a Soho or anything that has to do with really maintaining your information, this is a much better RAID situation for you to have for the home user because this way all the information on one drive is being automatically bounced onto the other drive in RAID 1 and being maintained and kept for your safety. Now, there are some other RAID things above this. There's RAID 5 and RAID 10, but most home users won't use these. The RAID 0 and the RAID 1 are the most common. If you buy an external NAS unit and some of the high-end motherboards now that are coming out do feature onboard RAID 5. Now, what RAID 5 is, is RAID 5 is a combination of both 0 and 1 with the added redundancy of having an extra drive backing up all the stuff. So these are the benefits and the risks to having RAID. If you're a gamer and you want the absolute fastest access on your sister, on your sister, no, on your system, excuse me, you know what's on my mind, right? then you want to have RAID 0 because RAID 0 allows your games to play their fastest, access your information. Once again, the risk factor is that if it goes down, you lose your information. But most gamers, all they really need to do is back up their game information and they're good to go. If you want to maintain all your information for your business, RAID 1 is the way to go because it is mirroring. So there you go, fall wrong in our next video, we're gonna show you how to set up the different raids in a few common motherboards, both in the AMD and Intel platforms. So thanks for watching, I hope you find this informational and everybody out there, have a great day.